Hi, I'm Taylor Wells. Welcome to Best Life Ever. I'm so happy you're here. So, in our last video, I was talking to my friend Parfait about this amazing program that he's doing. He's sending children's books to Rwanda, um, helping children there learn English and learn to read. It's amazing. So watch that last video from a couple days ago. Um, and I wanted to just point something out about my friend Parfait. So, we met um, very circumstantially and synchronistically at a book party in downtown Boston. Um, and when we were talking about what he is doing for Rwanda and for children, I was very interested. Um, and then when we were emailing, um, I suggested that he get my book and my inspiration card deck um, and read it before we met because I put my heart and soul into that and everything that I believe about deliberately creating your life and law of attraction is in that book and that inspiration card deck. And you know what? He got the book that day and read it. I don't know if he read it that day, but he read it before we met. And the thing I want to point out about that is not about my book. It's about taking what the universe gives you and being open to it and saying yes and trying new things because I cannot tell if I had a nickel for all the people who email me and say will you write about this will you cover this will you this this and if I give them any sort of suggestion they completely blow it off or don't even email me back so I just wanted to tell you that that was um, a big red flag for me, in a, pos a positive red flag, if there could be one. Um, a purple flag, a purple positive flag. And um, so, yeah, just speak a little bit about, is that just kind of who you are? Like you said, oh, she suggested this, so I'm gonna do it. And, and you resonated with the book, right? Well, yeah, it was, uh, first of all, what I would say about the book is that when I, I got the book, I, the first thing that struck me was that uh, the book was very accessible. Not only, uh, you don't need to be a college student to actually read this book and understand what, you know, uh, the, the message that is given into it. Anyone really can actually get to this book and understand what is going on. Usually people would think about yoga and what the message you have in the book as something that is very um, hard to understand, but you've uh, managed to make it very accessible to people who, who basically, from all walks of life, they would understand it. And from when I was reading it, I realized that it actually applies to our everyday lives and that it is possible to take control of what happens by not focusing on the uh, negative sides of things because that wastes our time and energy. And I realized that you know, the <clears throat> message in the book throughout is very positive. And from each chapter, you can just find one line that you can actually use uh, for the entire day. And uh, it allows you to meditate and really move your, right, uh, your life in, in, right, in the right direction in a positive way, which is really good in terms of uh, maintaining positive energy. So for me, I realized that, um, first of all, the book was very accessible in terms of how you can read and understand. Uh, some other yoga books you pick up and you look at it uh, and you just don't want to continue. And this was really accessible to me and I, and I realized it was really good. So it sounds like this is applied for my book and thank you, but really what I was, thank you. But, and that's why I wrote the book and um, I agree. I feel that it's totally accessible and anyone can do it. Um, Anyone can deliberately create their life using Law of Attraction, um, and anyone can create their yoga, whatever that is. Could be gardening, could be running, could be reading. Mm -hmm. um, but I was really amazed and impressed with Parfait's follow through, and the fact that he was open. And by the way, he could have read my book and been like, eh, eh I'm gonna take this much and leave the rest. It, it did resonate with him, but he was open to the information. And um, I, again, it's, you don't see that that often. Like people ask me vi on a daily basis many times to write about or talk about something that they're doing or something that they've written or something that, you know, whatever. Um, but then when I suggest something to them, they're closed. And so this is a very unique um, uh, trait and, and ability and I okay. think a, a really, an amazing one. So anyway, I thought everyone could learn from that and I wanted to thank you for that openness and, thank you. and thank um, you. the ability to kind of take in new information. That's great. I mean, I, like I said to you, I enjoyed the book so much and uh, I would recommend some other people to look at it because 
uh, what's important that I actually realize, instead of uh, being guilty about what you eat, you recommend that people you know, take things in moderation. Don't starve yourself from things that you would want to have. So, Because you'd be kidding yourself. If you say, I don't want to have this only because I want to make myself feel painful. But you say, you know what? You can go ahead and you know, have that bite, but make sure you do it in moderation. And um, it's, it has worked for me, at least since I've come here, without knowing that this is actually the message that you give. So when you um, suggested the book and I looked at it, it actually resonated. And I realized it's a very good thing to, to do. Uh, so it's not like prohibitive. Do not do that. Don't go do this. You know, it says enjoy life as it comes and just remain positive. Yeah, uh, thank in, you for, in, for the in suggestion. In all things. Yeah, awesome. All right, thank you. Have the best day ever. Namaste.